Hi, welcome to an episode of Wine Wednesday. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start doing these. I think I'm gonna become a fan of wine. So this is my friend Sonia and she's... <laughs> Marty. Sonia has been in a video with me before where we talked about dating relationships, specifically about the dating phase. For today's episode, we're gonna talk about the worst customers. Now, we've actually worked together before at a retail store, so we know all about customers mm -hmm. and how bad they can be. Not all the time, I think for the most part, at least where we worked, it was pretty good. Half and half. Half and half for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start talking about what happened at our first jobs. Like, if is there anything that sticks out to you from your first job? What was your first job? My first job was McDonald's. And my first job, I was pregnant with Ryan. Because my mm. real first job doesn't count because I was my dad's restaurant. I didn't feel like it was a job because I would just like eat and play around and <laughs> get yelled at by my mom and dad. You know, like the restaurant, like we would chill in the bar. It was like at home. Yeah, it felt <laughs> home. The day it felt like a job was Cinco de Mayo. Oh my God. Those days felt mm. like... Because it's a Mexican restaurant? Yeah. It was, is. It was, yeah. The Cinco de Mayo was the craziest days. That's when I felt like <clears> I was working. Hmm. But my real legit job without mommy and daddy is H and M. Okay. Um, well, my first job was at McDonald's, so I feel like most of the people that came by were pretty snappy because it's fast food, so they expect food to be, you know, fast. And they were hangry a lot of the times. You Looking know how for people free food. <laughs> that too. Oh my gosh, yeah, so many people wanted you. freebies, like, like these. Fries aren't hot enough, and they had eaten like half of them already. Damn. And they wanted like to like, they want it. <laughs> One time, <laughs> I had this manager who gave like no fucks. And this guy, he had come in because he said that his fries were cold, and he just wanted like a new batch to be fresh, you know. And she was like, "Oh, well, then why did you eat half of them?" <gasps> no way. <laughs> And I was just like laughing over there like I know you're not like supposed to be rude, but like Honestly people say that the customer is always right, but we know that they're not always right mm -hmm. Like because that's just like a US standard, you know Treat him treat customers, you know really nicely and you you should because their business they're 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 why you have a job mm -hmm. but I mean I know as a customer I can sometimes be snappy so but I try not to be because I know, I know what it's like to work in like customer service. Yeah. But, yeah, I know it can be. But yeah, and, and he was like, I'll just have my money back. And like a couple weeks later, I know I saw him once again. He came through the drive through and he did the same thing. He had eaten half of his fries and again? he wanted, he wanted like, uh, like fresh fries because they were cold. So he had done it again. So it's like these people. But one time, one time I was working the drive through and it was pretty hectic and busy and this lady was giving me her order and I was just having a hard time hearing her so I asked her to repeat it a, a few times and she was like, she was like, why are you being a bitch? She said that to me and I was like, I literally, I told her, you know what, you can go somewhere else. I didn't like her calling me a bitch, basically, yeah. because it was just like, I honestly just couldn't hear. Like, she thought I was, like, ignoring her or something. I could have, like, looking back, you know, this is my first job, but I could have, like, just told her to order out the window, because mm -hmm. it's not really, like, my choice to, like, send her off somewhere else. Um, but yeah, then she came to the paying window, and she had spoken with my manager, and she said that I, I used like the F word on her. And then I was like, I went to go talk to her and I was like, I didn't use the F word on you. I just honestly couldn't hear you. And I, you know, tried to explain it to her. And I was honestly annoyed. And I was, I'm not really good at hiding it when I'm annoyed at people. Mm -hmm, mm -mm. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I think I might have like, I don't feel like I rolled my eyes, but I did go maybe like, do like something that I probably did roll my eyes. She rolled her eyes. <laughs> yeah, you always fucking roll your eyes. That's all you I do. do. I didn't do it voluntarily. It must Shut have up. Naturally. <laughs> She's like, did you just roll your eyes at me? And then she like tried to open her door. 
And she was like, I don't go in there and slap you, she said. Oh my god. It's it's funny to look back at now, but she was pissed. <laughs> <gasps> Thank God that was not me. Oh my god. And what the manager say? Um Um that you know, she she was just having a bad day and blah blah blah. Did you get um, fired? No man, I got away with so much crap at McDonald's because honestly McDonald's. the people that work at McDonald's and I've read this like in memes or whatever, but it's true, like they're not like the nicest. <laughs> But they put up honestly with so much crap, so I yeah. understand why they're not happy. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. This is so funny. I can't believe you never told me this story. Do you have yeah. a story? <laughs> not like that. No one's ever said, oh my god. I don't know how I would handle that. I would have been like, try a bit. Oh my god, see? Good thing it wasn't me. Because I would have said something. I, of course, remember more incidents from our, more, our most recent, recent job. job. Yeah. Your notes. <laughs> yeah, I got notes. <laughs> so at the retail store that we work at, of mm -hmm. course, people try to return a bunch of crap that they've damaged. Like, they try to say that they followed the washing instructions and whatever. But it's like, we wear this stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. We, like we most of my closet is from that store. Like, we know how the fabric is and how it should look like if you actually followed the instructions like this lady try to return that one ugly sweater um yeah, that one ugly sweater there's been plenty but she tried to return this sweater like and exchange it kind of like shrunk in two because supposedly she had like laid it out flat to dry but that kind of crap was obviously put in a dryer because they know that they can just come in and like get mm -hmm. a new item or get their money back because on good days because when when a certain manager was working she was so strict I don't know, it's annoying because you they're like just taking advantage like if it sometimes there are regular customers that do that and obviously mm -hmm. at some point they get you know kicked out or like told not to come back to the store because you can't really tell them no you washed it you, you put it in the dryer you did something wrong because you you don't know that they can just say no I didn't like especially our suits <clears throat> people would wear them to their interviews mm -hmm. and you could tell because the deodorant stains yeah. That's the one thing that I was taught to look for, is mm. the deodorant stain. Somebody was obviously wearing. sweating during an interview. That <laughs> reminds me of this one instance where this lady had bought, she had came in to buy a lot of suits, and she wanted them steamed. They were in the back, you know, the steamer takes a few minutes to turn on and and start steaming. Mm -hmm. So she had gone out to go get a drink at Starbucks, and then. She came back in, she was pretty impatient. So then I checked her out, I went to go get her items and I was checking her out. So I didn't really wanna tell her about, you know, any deals or whatever, like we're supposed to tell them. And then we were doing the the cares card. Mm. So then another coworker of mine comes up and she's like, oh, she can save money. Oh my God. But it does not work on suits. And she had only one item that wasn't a suit. So basically, it didn't apply. this is like a, like for St. Jude's, mm -hmm. like a cares card. If you spend $100 or more, you buy it for $25. If you spend $100 or more, you will save like 25%. 20, 25% if you're a card member. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I wasn't going to offer it to her because she only had one item mm -hmm. that wasn't suiting. So she was like, she was interested when my coworker told her about it. And I'm like, I don't think it works on suits. So then she's like, oh, well, let's see if she saves some money anyway. I knew that was going to irritate her more because she wasn't going to be able to like save money. Yeah. And so we did it. Her total was like 25 cents more. And she was like, well, if I'm not going to save any money, I don't want it. And I'm like, you don't want to donate $25 to St. Jude's by spending 25 more cents? She's like, no. <laughs> uh, so it's like our this, customers are like yeah. that they are like that <laughs> penny pinchers but like anyways oh my god not even for the children do <laughs> 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 uh, you want more i'm drunk okay yeah, one particular experience was a customer who had come in during holidays. She came in like a day before Christmas, right? 
Yeah, we were prepping for the next day, Black Friday. Yeah, Black Friday is <laughs> the day before Christmas. <laughs> oh, good. <okay. laughs> <laughs> oh, no, thank you. And that wine got to me. So this is funny because there was a lot of us there and this lady still got away with it. Because <laughs> it was like we were overstabbed. <laughs> But not really. During this time, it was like a slow time. And we're all chilling in the back of the fitting room where we're supposed to be like, you know, keeping an eye out. And this customer came in and she was just trying on a bunch of things. And she was very... Wasn't like, she the one that was trying on smaller things than were her actual size? Yeah, like way smaller. And um, no one said anything because we don't want to be like rude. So, yeah. but she took in two of each thing that she was trying on i remember going out towards the floor and just like doing around and like looking all i could see is her like holding her bag and like running out and i mentioned something i was like did those work and she was like oh no thank you you know like something really fast mm -hmm. and she just went like she like ran through the door she was like tunnel left, left. yeah the door. it was like so i mm -hmm. went to the back me you and the other girl started looking at her fitting room and there was like there was like around 11 if not more she had ripped off the sensors of each item Probably. and our tops don't even have sensors so imagine how many other stuff she had gotten yeah it was not funny but you know me and the other girl were just like making a joke <laughs> out of it because there was it shouldn't have happened to be honest mm -hmm. <laughs> There were plenty of us just messing around. Yeah, we were just talking. <laughs> and then, you know, we gathered all the sensors and, like, took them to the manager. And the manager was obviously very upset. And me and the other girl stayed laughing. <laughs> but you... <laughs> she, was, <laughs> she was the one that was, like, a little bit more concerned. <laughs> yeah, because I was, like, I was kind of laughing with you guys. But then once I started walking and I saw the manager's face, I was, like... This isn't a laughing matter. <laughs> and that made it more funny. The worst part about catching the customer is the embarrassment that you feel for them. You know what I yeah. mean? <laughs> like, yeah, it's honestly, like, oh when God. I was a teenager, I stole some things, yeah. But I was like, too. when I, I just knew people that stole, so I'm going to blame it on them. No, honestly, it's my fault, but whatever. Once I got caught, it was like I was done. I was so embarrassed because my dad was so disappointed in me. And I was surprised. It was the first time that my mom was easier on me than my dad. And my dad is the softy. Oh my god. And it was just like really sad and embarrassing. So I just like I never stole again. So this happened not too long ago. Um, we started charging for bags. <laughs> and I went. see where this is going well this wasn't even like a bag situation but so she the lady had purchased the bag but I asked her like I ask every normal human being if she wanted any tissue paper to wrap her clothes in and then put it in the bag you know mm -hmm. do you want any tissue paper and she's like uh well I, I, I don't know if you want and I'm like I mean if you want i feel like asking because a lot of people they don't they don't want to waste paper yeah. so i ask all the time yeah because there's many times where you start to put the tissue and they'll mm -hmm. be like oh no 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 you know like they'll stop exactly you. and this lady thought that she was like the only one in the world that was like she acted like a victim because she was like well, well you know what yes i would like some paper that would be nice she was like i've just never been asked that before Cause she she took so much offense to the fact that I asked her if she wanted any tissue. tissue paper. My yeah. net my next incident. <laughs> yeah, customer experience. Customer experience happened when I started working there. There was one particular lady who would always come in and take dresses. This one time, since I was new, I just kind of stood there and observed. <laughs> you know, I just kind of enjoyed the moment, and um the lady since we already knew that she was one of the thieves <laughs> we had pictures of her so on this day there was only three of us working me the the sales lead and another associate the other associate walked up to her while she was in the back and caught her stuffing the dress in her bag and the other associate <laughs> was so embarrassed that she just went to the sales lead and she was like hey 
She just put the bat, the the dress in her back. Can you please go and have her take it out? Cause she was too shy, you know. She felt so like to confront her. Yeah. Yeah. The sales lead went ahead and she confronted the lady and she was like, "Can you please take the dress out of your bag?" And the lady told her, she's like, no, I put it there because I'm going to buy it. This te the sales lead was very, like, understanding. And she's like, well, we don't put stuff in the bag until it's actually been purchased. <laughs> like, she was explaining to her, like, you have to first buy the item before you put it in your bag. La, la, la. And me and the other sales lead were just standing there like, oh, my God. Like, this is so... Because she actually pulled it out. You know, she pulled it out. She it was, was like, her oh. personal bag. It was, it yeah, was, it was in her a shopping purse. bag. Yeah, it was her purse. She's like, oh, I'm going to buy it. The sales lead was like, okay, I'll hold this in the front. When you're ready for it, it'll be at the cash rep. Well, I think this will be my last story. Um, this was like in the evening, so it was just me and then the sales lead working. We were going to be closing together. And there was this lady who came in. I mean, I didn't know this when she had walked in, but she is a known customer. Her and her family, they're of a certain culture mm -hmm. that you need to just really watch out for so she had come into the store with her uh, boyfriend or husband or whatever the first thing that i noticed um she was in the sales section and we have like two rows of clothing and like a, a shelf between them so there was like a coffee spill from that shelf down to like all the sweaters that were underneath it and i was like i looked at that and then i looked at her who was holding a nordstrom coffee cup and she's like somebody spilled this i mean i knew it was her because it was like still dripping and like nobody else was there like it was fresh it was just dumped barely and so i took the cup and then i threw it in the back in the bigger trash bins in the back i bet you you gave her the most annoyed look in the world i could already <laughs> imagine your face like you probably didn't even make eye contact with her no i looked at her at her spouse or whatever and he also had a nordstrom coffee cup so mm. I knew it was her. Yeah. <laughs> Cause why would he have one? Is she not? <laughs> yeah. The women, the, the women don't go without their coffee. That's there were so like funny. twenty freaking tops ruined. <laughs> like the coffee had fallen on them, and she just like pretended that it wasn't her and like whatever. I cleaned it up and I took them, the sweaters to the back and tried to salvage as much as I could. But also like I didn't tell the manager until. Um, she was gone after I had cleaned everything and I was like that lady she did this <clears throat> and she was like really she was so pissed which manager H she was so mad because she was like yeah she was also acting like a like a c-word with her like she <gasps> after she did this you know she still goes up and acts you know rude. tries to she acts rude and I don't know exactly what she was like trying to get a deal or what exactly what she was like complaining about but she was still like she was up at the counter for a while with her so i don't know what exactly that they were talking about she but she was still rude like after you do something like that you still have the audacity to go up and like keep acting like the victim or something so it was the same family the these people were known in our stores because of any time they came in they would steal they would make drama and it was just like they made it you know they gave themselves away because of the way they were acting you know what i mean mm -hmm. so everyone knew to look out for this family because not one time that they came in did they not steal something like that was just their thing they had to leave with something even if it was something that was nine dollars you know one time one of them stole you know the sale jewelry up at the cash mm -hmm. rep she took the earrings and um as the other one was trying like scanning things she put them in her bag and as she left the sensors went off mm -hmm. but the lady whoever was ringing them the associate she knew the other the associate was telling her hey where's the earrings and she was just like oh i put them back but she wasn't dumb you know they try to think that we're dumb but no we knew we knew who you are. we know what's up yeah <laughs> Oh, the man, did I ever tell you the story? Mm. And she told the guy to take the pants out of his pants. He to shoved take the pants out yeah, of his pants? Yeah, he shoved the the ankle pants in his sweatsuit. A man? Yeah. She was like, um, she was like, can I help you with something? He's like, no. And she's like, well, you can help me by taking out the pants you just shoved down your pants. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> and he did. 
he he, must have been embarrassed. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, yeah. how can you? But they oh deserve to god. be embarrassed. Yeah. Like, what? And then she caught somebody stealing a moto jacket. Another mm -hmm. girl putting it on. She's like, can you take that off before you leave? And the other lady was like, why are you being such a bee? <laughs> and she's like, okay, because I'm the bee right now, you know? <laughs> she said that to the manager? Yeah. And then she said, I'll follow you and get your license plate if you don't take it off. So that's why the lady was mad. I don't want to sound like too, like I'm complaining too much, but obviously there have been some really nice customers. A lot, yeah. Great customers out there. Um, more than really like bad ones. Mm -hmm. But it's still, I think, funny to look back at these incidents and just laugh about them. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching this video. I f I'm feeling a little tipsy. And it's like hot because I'm the sun is coming in. Hot. And we're drinking and my face is looking shiny. <laughs> that tipsy. I'm just like a little Are baby. Are you crazy? Now. I'm drunk. You're drunk? Yeah. Look at my eyes. She's weak. Yeah. You did have more before me. And then when I came home. <laughs> I had like an entire bottle came. today. I had I an entire bottle of wine. <laughs> well, um, so like I said earlier, Sunny has a YouTube channel. You yeah, I do. a little bit about that? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> It tastes mm -hmm. good, right? Yeah. I can't believe we finished a bottle. We should do this every Wednesday. Yes, yeah, so I do have a YouTube channel. My channel is mostly fashion and beauty. I try to throw in spirituality every once in a while. But lately it's just been very fashion and beauty oriented. I try to post every single week. Um, so yeah, if you are interested in any of those topics, my channel will be linked down below. I will link it below. <laughs> <laughs> and here on my channel, well, every Wednesday, I, I don't know, I guess I just post kind of what I want. Um, I'm keeping it a little general. I'm like, like sometimes these juicy topics, I have a lot coming up. <laughs> I have a lot of interesting <laughs> stories. <laughs> and, um, and just like random shenanigans. But on Mondays, I have a series called Morbid Mondays where I talk about True crime, scary videos, oh paranormal, legends, <laughs> stuff like that. That scared me. Your, <laughs> your, your, your videos give me goosebumps. They do? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, well thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope it was entertaining to you guys. If you have any interesting story and any worst customer stories, please share them in the comment section. We'll be looking out for those and... Please be sure to subscribe to my channel or her channel if you're interested in these types of videos. And we'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs>